my channel so I have a ton of goodies to show you guys today I went and pulled a ton of stuff off the shelf that is new at Michaels and we're just gonna go ahead and get started because I feel like this is gonna be a very long video so I have Mobby new items and I have recollections new items let's start with recollections and then we'll go back to Mobby all right, so the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is this recipe planner. And I didn't pull all of the new recollections planners that came out. I just pulled some of the ones that are new because if you've watched anybody else's flip through, most of the horizontal and the vertical layout is the same as last year's. So I just pulled out the ones that were a little bit different um, that I really like. So last time I think they put out just a regular size. So this size. I have like F stuff everywhere. I put out one about this size for a recipe. And I didn't actually get the chance to pick it up, but I am going to pick up this one when I get paid again. Um, but this is the big size of the Recollections Planner. You have the gold foil on here. Super pretty on the inside. Um, it has a breakfast tab, which is awesome. You have a sides tab right here. And each of the pages, you have your ingredients and directions. Um, serves, main ingredients, seasons, variations, the difficulty level, prep time, cooking time, temperature, serve with, and then some extra notes. So very detailed. Um, you have a main dishes tab, and I just love like all the decor on the inside of here. You have a desserts tab, which this one is so cute. I love this one so much. Um, you have a miscellaneous one. And then they also have a huge section for meal planning. Like, look how thick this is, you guys. Those are stickers. But, like, look. That is enough, I'm pretty sure, for one a week, for 52 weeks. So, in the meal planning section, um, you do have weekly meal planning. Um, and you have your daily servings. And you can kind of mark off each one that you reach. Um, and then you have the days of the week all the way through Sunday. And then on the back side, it has your weekly market list, which is super awesome. So this has bakery items, drinks, snacks, household, um, and then protein, dairy, vegetables, pantry, fruits, and others. And then you have the date. And like I said, there's a ton of these. And then on the back section right here, you do have stickers, which some of these are a little off. They're not really all like recipe-ish stickers, but whatever. Um, so you have hearts, these little teardrops with hearts in them, thumbs ups right here, a ton of peppers, I guess to signif signify spiciness. Um, you have all of the emojis, you have the side eye emoji, which that one's so funny. <laughs> um, you have the stars and you also have arrows. Um, and then this right here, you have little notes with different silverware on the side. You have some oval stickers, just some more decor stickers. Um, and then this one, you have snacks, beverages, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, family favorites, love this, add, sticker, stir in, little measuring cups, and then different time stickers. So 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then you have your weights. And then the last page right here, you have delicious, enjoy, so good, um, fave, quick and easy, chop, mix, mix together, different like like splash kind of things I guess some different like food um, good food tasty measuring cups and a pot um, and then you also have a folder so if you have any like written recipes that you haven't transpired or transcribed into here you can put those in there um, and then you also have a pocket and my favorite thing about the recollections pocket is it doesn't require a zipper you just pull it apart and then it automatically zips itself back together so there is the recipe one. And like I said, I didn't pick up last year's, but I definitely want to get this year's version. And then another one that I wanted to show you guys, cause it was different. They didn't have a teacher one last year is this one right here. So like I said, this is a teacher planner and I'm sorry for the glare. Um, I'm not in my usual filming setup, so everything's a little off today. So. Um, it says to teach is to touch a life forever and you have this gorgeous like watercolor foil pattern around it. Um, on the inside it has this planner belongs to, you can put your room information, your school information. Um, and then 
On this first page, you have your password tracker, which is really important, especially if you're a teacher. You probably have a ton of passwords that you need to keep ahead of. Um, and then also right here, you have tips for the substitute teacher. So your school schedule, um, important staff, helpful people, um, and then some different students you can list some special needs. Over here, you have your classroom volunteers and your classroom special events. Um, and then you can put all your child, your children's birthdays, which is really cool if you're a teacher. Um, and then you have all of your student content information. And there is several pages of these. There's one, two, three, four, five pages. And then you go into the absent. Um, so you can mark down the students, the date that they are absent, and the reason, and check it off. Um, and then you have your graph and notes section. So seating charts and graphs, you can like build your own seating chart, which is really cool. Um, and there's several pages of that. And then just some cool little notebook paper. And then you have the year plan. So basically you can break down every single month what you plan on doing for your students, which is really cool. Um, it starts in July and ends in June. And then for July, every single beginning of the month, you have like these objectives. So. Um, objectives, important days, things to remember, quote of the month, and a running to-do list, which is awesome. You have your monthly right here, and this is non-dated. So basically, you can keep this and use it whenever you want it to, which I think is really cool. Um, same thing for August. Just kind of same layout. You can date it however you want to. Um, and then once you get past all of the months, You'll get to a tab called Lesson Plans. And then right here, it'll have the week number, subject period, subject period. It has one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And you can write down all the things you need to get done all throughout the week. So you have a two page lesson plan, which is awesome. You have tons of those for all throughout the year. And then, you have a section for checklists. So if you have any checklists you need to mark off, you have a whole section of this. You have several pages of those too, lots of those. Um, and then at the back right here, you have a ton of things that would be super beneficial for a teacher to have. So you have assembly, duty, computer lab, library, staff meeting, um, and holidays. And it's a gradient of color, so super pretty colors, very watercolor. Um, and then on the second page, you have just some little tabs that you can use to kind of designate different things. And then on this page right here is just some different stickers. So you have first day, field trip, picture day, last day, um, and just some little different stickers. Again, you have some more stickers. You can use these like habit, habit trackers or um, lists or whatever. You have some professional development days, personal days. Um, minimum day, fall break, winter break, spring break, class party. Um, and then you also have a folder. This one is really pretty. And then you have this little same pocket folder, which is awesome. So that is the teacher one. And I definitely want to show you that one because it was different. And I did just want to let you guys know if you can see something flash, I don't know if you'll be able to or not. Um, but somebody just accidentally set off the fire alarm in Michael's where I'm filming this in the classroom. Um, so if you see a flashing light, that is what that is. I'm so sorry if it is bothering you guys, but I really want to put this video up. So hopefully you won't completely hate me. Um, so one of the other planners, I have one more after this I want to show you guys, but this one right here is a family planner. Now that this was very different, they didn't have one like these during their last release, and I really thought this was just neat. I don't have a family, but if I did, I would still have this planner. Um, so you have your outlook for 2017-2018, important dates for 2017-2018, so if you're planning a trip for 2018 or um, something like that, you can go ahead and put that down. You have important contacts, and then it gets into the months. Um, I love these quotes too in all these planners. I think Recollections really did step up their game when it comes to like different quotes and stuff like that. Um, so I really like the quotes in these. Anyways, so you have your monthly view. This planner is dated, but it's very colorful, but kind of just plain at the same time, which I like. 
because if you did buy this for your family or whatever nine times out of ten you're gonna have a lot to write in here especially for the monthly view um, and the weekly view so I like that it's kind of plain but it still has some color so that's really nice and then this right here is the coolest thing to me so it is set up almost like a teacher planner in the fact that you have um, what would be the periods over here but this is the names so basically you can put each family members name all the way across and they have their own section in your planner which I think it is so cool and if I had a family I would definitely purchase this especially especially if I had a large family um, this would be very beneficial to me because you can put a section for yourself you can put a section for your children a section for your husband and you can just kind of keep everybody's appointments together and in one place and I just think this would be actually really helpful um, so I think this is super cool and it is like that for all of the months I will say and the last page always has a note page um, but it is like that for every single month so let me get to the back here and I'll show you the notes section and the stickers that come with this. So in the very back you just have a ton of notes which would be very beneficial. So tons of lined note paper and then you have some graph paper too which is awesome. Who doesn't love graph paper? Um, and then you have stickers. Woohoo! So for your stickers you have two columns of blank ones. You have one column for play date and school trip, a whole bunch of vacations and no schools, doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, hair appointments, game days, birthdays and practices. Um, this page right here just has a whole bunch of checklists, um, big happy dreams, just different little decorative stickers. These go in the monthly view, which I think is really cool that they added these. Um, so those go in the monthly view down here at the bottom. Um, and then this next page right here has some little washi strips, arrows, weekend banners, um, family chore stickers, and just some other little write-on stickers. And then this page has um, like a quarter of the page of emoji, emojis, emojis, <laughs> of emojis. And then you have like a ton of just different icons down here at the bottom. You have some camping ones that is so freaking cute. I absolutely love that. So if you have Boy Scouts or something like that, that'd be perfect. Um, and then you also have a pocket, double-sided pocket, and one of those pouches as well. So those are the three really different planners that I saw and I really wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I um, will be purchasing the teacher one or the family one, but I will be picking up the recipe one. Um, so that will be coming very soon. Um, and then this one is the last one that I saw and I really wanted to show you guys because it's a different kind of layout than what they have put out before. Um, so this right here is an hourly layout right here. Um, and this one's super pretty. It has the marble, which is very in. It says, this is my year. I love the inside florals. I think it is so pretty. You have the full out yearly view, 2017-2018. Um, and then you have important dates, important contacts, and then it goes into your monthly. And this is, again, one of those things where it's very open and white space, so you can easily decorate this all the way up. Or you can leave it absolutely plain and do it however you want. So completely up to you if you are more of a, just a writing person then you can just write in this one um, or decorate it but this is the hourly view um, and I did want to zoom you in just a little bit so you get a better idea all right so um, it starts at 7 a.m. and it goes all the way to 10 p.m. and you do have hour increments so 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. 11 a.m. noon uh, and so on and so forth. Now you do have two lines in between each hour increment so you can make them 30 minutes if you wanted to or you could just leave it as is. That's completely up to you um, but I do like the way this hourly is set up. This could easily be covered up with some washi or you can put some date dyes over here from Etsy if you're a big Etsy girl um, and you can easily cover this up too because it's not very you know strong or whatever um if you just want to make this like a running to-do list i almost really want to buy an hourly because i've seen a lot of people buy them and use it as basically a running to-do list and that's something i actually would really like so i may end up doing that look at that one i love that quote though but it's the same for every single month um there's it's just so much prettier than last year i will say that 
um, but it's the same kind of layout for every single month. And then let me get it to the back section so I can show you. You have your notes tab, and then you have a ton of notebook paper that you can write in, and you have some graph paper and plain paper. And then here are the stickers that come in the back of this one. So you have day off, game day, happy hour, vacation, business trip, event, appointment, party time, birthday, concert, wedding, big day, night out. Um, and then on this one, you have just some cute little stickers. You got some full boxes. You have some checklists, to-do boxes. Um, some different little things that you can ride on and decorate with. Same thing on this page, just some fun little things. And then this last one up here is about a fourth of a page of emojis, and then just like the other one, the rest of the page is just um, different little icons that you can use, so that's awesome. And then you do have a cute little pocket back here too, and one of the um, syllable pouches. So that is the hourly planner. So that is four of the planners from the Recollections kit. Um, and then here are some other things that they just added that I also wanted to show you guys as well while I have you zoomed in. Um, so let's show ahead and show you this part right here because I think this is super cool. Um, so this is called an accessory kit. Um, and in this accessory kit, it has two sticker sheets, one dashboard, one bookmark stencil ruler, one mini bookmark, one elastic band, and one pack of sticky notes. So this is really cool if you're starting out planning. This is everything that you would possibly need. Um, so lots of cute things in here. Um, you have a weekly menu plan dashboard with your little water on the side, which is awesome. And you have a planner band. And then you do have stencils back here on the back that you can use to kind of decorate however you would like um, and then you have just a page of stickers which I really like this I would definitely pick up this and then on the back here you have like a workout ones which is super cool I guess I can flip it around you have some workout stickers which is awesome I thought these accessories were really cute especially like the little mini bookmark if I can get it like come out to the side a little bit but it's a mini bookmark and I really like the dashboard a lot um, and then they also released these like books of stickers. There's three of these, but I only picked up this one because honestly, I would really want to get the holiday seasons one. Um, so let's just flip through here real fast. So this just has um, full boxes and it goes basically by the seasons. You can tell on here, this is New Year's and Valentine's. It has some more Valentine's Day stickers. These are just so cute. These are like the clear stickers, which I'm not really sure how well these will stick because I wasn't a big fan of the ones that they recently put out in like the smaller sizes. Um, but you have some clear stickers and some washy little strips. Um, you have Happy Easter and what's the other day? St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> the Shamrocks. Um, and just some more decor on that. You have this one that says you are my sunshine and just like some summer fun boxes which is awesome and then it goes into your fall and Halloween like look at that cat so cute and a little bat um, some more of the fall and Halloween stickers and then you have a page of the clear stickers which are super cute I really like those fabulous that's hilarious um, and then you have the Christmas stickers right here so cute and then you have a clear thing of Christmas stickers too so that is super fun so there's 801 stickers in there and then they also put out these little mini books too and there's like I think six of these they have a faith one they have these two they have a goals one um, several others but I just went ahead and grabbed just these two right here um, so this is the daily life one right here and this just has a whole bunch of daily life icons you have some hydrate stickers workout stickers coffee cups light bulbs shoes um, telephones cars laundry just every daily life things and there is two pages of those um, you have a ton of like word stickers so breakfast lunch dinner groceries, errands, um, chores, great day, nap, haircut, night off. 
and there's again two pages of those um, and then you just have a whole page of like half boxes and like arrow boxes um, so you have one that says morning afternoon and evening to do's list important um, and some different little um, to-do lists and there's two pages of those um, and then this one I think the last two pages are quotes so you do have a ton of different quotes all on these next two pages and the only thing I don't really like about that is I wish they put two different pages of different quotes instead of the same ones um, I think that was my problem with the last set that Recollections put out is it was like the same stuff over and over again and I'd rather have two different things but you know you win some you lose some um, and then this is the fitness and nutrition book I want to show you guys and like I said I'm sorry for the glare you guys this is not my normal setup um, but this is heart rate calories steps um, stay hydrated challenge stickers mile stickers um, and there's two pages of those um, and then these are so cute. I really like these. It has little measuring tapes and then up here it says five to go, five down, ten to go, ten down, and so on and so forth. Um, you have just different exercises, cardio, legs, core. And it kind of repeats itself and there's two pages of those. <laughs> and kind of get the two page theme here we got going on. Um, this page has workout, rest day stickers, um, it has cheat day stickers, some little um, like foiled psychedelic silverware and clocks um, and then down here you do have the hydrate water bottles which is really cool I like those a lot so pretty and you have another page of those and then again you just have a page of quotes which I really like um, fitness quotes they're some of my favorite quotes to use in my planner so there you go um, and then I think I have one more to show you guys yeah so this is the goals and trackers one right here it's the pink one this one has like half boxes some of them have goals and important on them and there's two pages of those you have a page of trackers uh, teardrops arrows and stars and there's two of those um, and then you have a page of just like different little writing boxes that you can write on two of those um, and then you have some more half boxes with lists in them. And I think these would go over two boxes, which that's that's pretty cool. And then you have some checklists at the top. And yeah, that is everything. So that is everything from Recollections. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. And we will do another video for part two for the mom bee because we are already at 24 minutes. And that's going to be an extremely long video. So... I will see you guys for part two very, very soon. Bye, guys.